What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Dirt Castle for the next episode of Tropico 5. In the previous episode, I think we're sort of on the back end of the game. I think the game ends in like 2080 something. And so really all we have to do is keep popular opinion on our side and just develop the hell out of this island. And I think we're going to be in really, really good shape. In the previous episode, we had made an aerodrome so that we could get more people onto our island. We had also been focused on building ourselves a whole bunch of geothermal energy. And so hopefully that happens pretty soon. I mean, I can't speak as to whether... These construction buildings are going to be in in time or not, but it will happen eventually. So as of right now, nobody's going to move into these because there's no electricity and also there's no reason to be over here. But once we start putting in our... We're going to start putting in more tourism along this line right here. Once we start doing that, it should be absolutely fantastic. Everything should work out okay. We've got six tourist families right there. I'm not really liking the way that they've reworked tourism. I... I don't know, it's different, and I suppose that I've just gotten so used to the way that tourism used to work that it's just sort of thrown me off now getting used to it, but the way that it used to work, if you wanted an explanation, is you had a tourist dock that would bring in tourists, and you could place that in your touristy area to keep it far and away from the rest. Now the tourists just come in, like, at your regular dock, and that's that. I forgot to set that right there. Oh, we've got fishermen, okay. That works out okay. Where are the fishermen going? I have trouble seeing the fish. Oh, there's like a little shark right there. Look at that. I never noticed that before. There's like little sharks and things in the water. <laughs> That's slightly terrifying, but also adorable. Let's go ahead and modernize the remainder of these buildings. God, I really hate it when it does that. Because we have so much cash right now. We have a lot of disposable income, and so we really have the ability at the moment to pretty much do... Actually, if I did a modernize all right now, we would actually get away with it. Let's do it. Let's modernize all. That'll save me a whole bunch of trouble later on in the game. I don't even know where half those buildings are, but they're getting retrofitted wherever they may lie. We're going to see a small drop, but then it'll be okay right after. As soon as this grid is up and ready to go, is that coming into contact with the rest of the grid? It is in deedly doodly. Fantastic. So that's in contact right now. Let's spend the rest of this episode maybe working on tourism up in here. And so we've got a hacienda that's already taking in tourists. I'm going to put in a road right there. On this side, we've got a whole bunch of people that are going to be living in here, but it's going to take us a bit of time to get it fixed up. So let's go with tourism. It seems like if you place things a little bit too close to each other, they get a little bit grumpy. So maybe what we might think about doing is start spotting these all over the place. Okay, so those are too far from roads, but I bet we can just sort of sneak them in here and there. I don't know if it's too far from a road or what it's doing, but we're just going to kind of spot them wherever we can because they're for rich people. And I don't think rich people mind. They can walk a little bit further. We can also do one of these big bad boys right here. Because we haven't built one yet. It's expensive, but I assume that it's probably going to bring in a lot of cash. And then the way that I would fix that right now, because it's in the middle of this area, is just by going around it with trees, like so. Which should help fix it up perfectly fine. It's a little bit of an exploit, but it'll work. It always does. We can also put trees in front of it. Okay. Let's do that then. Let's make sure this thing is as effective as possible. Awesome. And so that's ready to roll. I think that I would like to... A waste treatment plant probably wouldn't hurt around here somewhere. Yeah, we've got a little bit of room. Oh, it'll fit. All right. We'll put in a waste treatment plant right there. And this might actually have to go. This thing is not making us much money. So I may demolish it. And then we'll just use this for expansion. And then we'll put stuff in elsewhere. Because this area was probably not paramount for building a wildlife preserve anyways. I'd also like to capitalize on this gold mine at some point, but I think it'll lower the beauty of the area, which is why I haven't done it. I know I had a couple people ask me why I haven't capitalized on that gold mine yet, and that's what I would tell them, is that I was sort of worried that it would debeautify the area, and that makes me nervous. Now, are all these people living in these modern apartments? or like, what's going on over here? Oh, they're actually too good. So where are they living? Curious enough. 
because they only make well off and that's for rich which is one above well off so who's living in there okay so I may have to leave some normal apartments for like the poorer people I mean, we'll test that out. But it appears as though I may have to leave some rudimentary housing around for the people that work my farms. So that they still have a place to live. Can I upgrade this at all? No. Oh, lifetime profit is still pretty good. What about you? Are you turning a profit? You're definitely turning a profit. That's okay, too. Looks like we have money more or less coming out of our ears right now. I am planning on putting another one of those little banking office things down in here. Just to make it work. God, that thing is badass looking. Like, are those pools on each of the roof? God, I'm Poe. I mean, I'm Poe, folks. So I'm not used to this kind of luxury. Oh, that totally is. Those are like luxury suites in there. What? That's so badass. That's like the coolest thing ever. And we're going to buy off these people down in here. So we've got a rum distillery around here. That is striking. And we've just got to find it. Maybe I can click on the little pips here and fix it. Is that it? Okay, so we'll buy the strikers. We could send in the army and just kind of beat them about the head, neck, and shoulders. But whatever. I like to have everybody in my pocket, so we'll go ahead. It's easier. Like, if somebody's on the take, it's so much easier to coerce them than it is to just, like, kick the crap. I mean, I suppose extortion and blackmailing are kind of along the same lines but the blackmailing I feel is a little bit more effective because it makes them feel like they're guilty of something you can develop like a victim complex if someone kicks the shit out of you but if you're on the take you've done something wrong to deserve your plight so I don't know then again there is the old plomo you know plomo o plata saying so it can go either way I guess I'll put in a couple of normal apartment buildings in here Maybe like so. Just kind of squeeze them in for people that might be lower class. We also need to expand our road system because this is not going to work. So let's go ahead and we'll add a few more thoroughfares to help people get around a bit quicker. It's probably also a good idea to have this connect down here somehow. And I couldn't see how that road was going to look, unfortunately. So if it's Uggles, there's not much I can do about it. I could have rotated, I guess, but, you know. Hey! Stop building your shanty huts next to our rich people. Stop that. Over here, we'll keep those lined up. Although, I don't know if these are going to make any money or not. I really have no clue. It just looks like a private house. And it looks like there's a guy on the balcony. So, I guess somebody's there. I mean, hey. It takes what you gets. We've got that. I'm thinking... Well, I don't want to do that because I might hurt myself, but I hang gliding club might be sort of cool. But we don't really have any higher terrain for this to work on. You could hang glide off the top of a building. That'd be pretty badass. I don't know if I'm brave enough to do that, though. I really do feel like a mining operation for uranium is going to make people upset if I do this, but... Eh, damn the torpedoes. I mean, that's been what we've said so far, so... Let's go with a... Auto Mine. And I do get the distinct feeling this is going to make these people really, really upset. But oh well, they can deal. We're at 71%. We are back on the climb, which is very, very nice. I do think that I'm going to go for... Let me count my farms first. Let me see what I've got. So, Raw Industry... We've got seven coffee farms, seven corn farms. We've got banana. We've got cocoa. We've got a lot of sugar. And how many rum distilleries do I have? Let's go back here and we'll say luxury goods. We have three rum distilleries. So I'm actually, I'm thinking that's pretty close to being right about where we want it to be on the other half of things. When I flew into San Diego, we did that. Did you see what that plane just did? It flew between those buildings. So I took a landing into San Diego a couple years back. And when you land at the San Diego airport, you fly in between skyscrapers on both sides of your plane. It's the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like there are buildings like 50 feet from the wingspan while you're coming into land. It's like, wow, that was intense. 
basically it would have looked just like this except if we put these apartment buildings on both sides of it and you're like landing in between the buildings it was creepy as hell then again i'm a really really wussy flyer like i sincerely hate flying i hate it i try not to do it let's see we've got oh yeah so those people move straight in so maybe it's the well off that's making it work that way let's go ahead and electrify these there we go these buildings have now been thunderstruck we can turn these into luxury flats if we really were feeling ambitious, but I don't think I'm going to do that for right now. Instead, what I think I'll consider doing... We could do an electronics factory if we got the bauxite and the gold... Fa if we got the gold and the bauxite, because I think we have another bauxite deposit up there. So we have bauxite, we have coal, we have iron. I don't think we have a steel mill. Do we have a steel mill? I don't even remember what I've built at this point. This series has been going on for so long. So we've got industry goods. Oh, we do have a steel mill. And how is it doing? Does it actually produce money? Oh, wow. It's actually quite profitable for us. Okay. So we've got the steel. That leads me to think that it might be a good idea to jump in on the bauxite deposit right now. Oh, I just don't know. Let's focus on one thing at a time, tourism. Let's focus on tourism for now. So we've got a historic inn. I'll probably drop that in right there. And, you know, drop that in. You guys caught it, I'm sure. And then we'll also put in entertainment buildings here. It's maybe like a museum. To make the cultural people a little bit more happy. And I'm looking for the next spot where I want to drop nice stuff. So we'll go with tourism. We'll go with a... I mean, honestly... We could go with a family resort right there. We could probably fit in another family resort over here somewhere. If we wanted to suck in and, you know, make do with our belt being a bit tighter. And then to make people a bit happier in here, so we want entertainment. We already have a circus, maybe another cineplex down in here somewhere. I don't think I've ever gone to the movies while I was on vacation, but... We'll go right in there, and we'll build another Cineplex. On this side, we will consider putting in a few more apartment buildings, which we will electrify right away. I'm hoping that leaves me enough space for another office building, maybe? I think that's under... I always forget where the office building is, because it's kind of a weird building. I think it's under... it's not under residential. It's around here somewhere though, and I will find it. I will track you down, and I will make use of you. There it is. It's under the economy and foreign relations. That's what it is. Oh, that's what I was hoping would occur, and it did. Awesome. So it's going to take a while for that to go up, but as we build this area right here, this is going to become more and more populated. Ooh, we can make that a through road, too. Good. Very good. Excellent day. So we'll go with a few more apartment buildings down here just to make sure people have places to live that are well off. And I sort of sabotaged myself in the last episode or two, and I know I do that a lot. But... We need places for people who are merely well off to live. And so that's where this has left us. I actually don't think it'll allow me to build a road right there. So instead we'll go down to there and we'll just deal with it as time goes along. Oh, the waste treatment plant. I placed it wrong. Okay, let's demolish that and then we'll rotate it. I messed up again. And so as you can tell, lots of oversights when I play this game. Lots and lots of oversights. We should be about ready for another smear campaign, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, no, we still got five months left. Maybe it's every three years I'm allowed to do that, because I think we ran the last one in... 
Oh, maybe it's every five years or six years. Yeah. I think we ran the last one in like 2016 and it's still saying we have a little bit of time left until we can do it again. Go ahead and praise the Middle East. And then kick them out. The Russian comrades are very pleased with your joint work. Okay, so we invited the Russians. I would say that we want to go with four free apartments since that's what we're building anyways. So we'll keep that on the DL, but a few more apartments, definitely a good plan. Some of these people should be rich as long as this service quality is okay. There's a museum going in right there, which means that I probably want to make this like a cultural hub. A place where cultural tourism rocks it. And so we'll go with another... Well, what can I do to make the cultural tourists happy aside from ancient ruins? Like, so richer students and tourists, or I'm sorry, richer citizens and tourists. Children can't go to the nightclub, obviously, so I've got a family thing going up right here. We want to go with family entertainment then. And unfortunately, I do feel like there's a lot less buildings for your tourism than there used to be. I feel like there's a lot more stuff that we could have fiddled with back in the day, and then right now it seems like... It's not quite there anymore. I'd also like to plop in a cathedral, or at least a church down here somewhere. Maybe placate the church for a little while. We haven't built a building for them in a long time, so maybe that'll help out. But yeah, stuff for tourists to do. Which one of these is good for kids? So the National Park, we could move that to here. I mean, it's kind of a weird spot for a National Park, but I don't think that's going to work for us. We could go with another circus, which would keep the family people happy. I'd say like a restaurant right there might help, and then we'll also consider putting in another family resort. And then maybe a cruise ship out here. What does that do? Family tourists? Yeah, stick that thing out there. I don't know how they get to it, but... We've got another election cycle coming up. Which, you know, it's it's kind of a little bit of a mess because my legs are tired and I don't really feel like biking right now. But that's how we do things in Tropico. You select the new president by having a massive, massive cycling marathon. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? The election cycle 2023. I think we've only got about 30 years left in this game. I don't really remember how long it lasts. We've got an amazing, amazing, as far as I know anyways. Yeah, our Swiss bank account has almost a million dollars in it. We're making a lot of money. I could level up El Presidente. And his production buildings would be better. So maybe do that a couple times. Just for the achieves. There we go. Overqualified. We got our Chibos. And so everything is now leveled up. Were we to use him as a manager, he would be in much better shape. But we'll say that that's rich. That'll give us... How do they get off the boat? Do I have to build a road out to that? I'm really feeling like there's something missing that I need to construct over there in order to make this work properly. And yet... I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. Got the supermarket. We've got the foods. Oh, good. We've got a tsunami coming. We're alive, President. Yeah, that's definitely a wave that'll make you pucker. I mean... Rebuild all. But I think we only lost two buildings right there, so it should be all right. Is this making money? How is this doing? $8,000. Got a bunch of shanties around it. Get Stop building shanties around the super awesome. I know you do it for a reason. Oh, the water runs off one pool into the next. That seems kind of dangerous. I mean, I don't know, unless they've got it piped up differently, but it seems sort of dangerous to me. Then again, as I said, I'm that kid that's like, oh, go on, my asthma all the time so let's go ahead and make that a little bit better I think that if we put it we could do artifact smuggling if we really wanted to be a dick but we'll hold off for now I think we're actually we're sitting on a lot of money right now almost to the extent that it's really difficult for me to keep up with everything that's happening so these well-off houses down in here, are these now being lived in? 
Okay, these are all being lived in, so yeah, I think that's going to be something that I need to focus on accomplishing for our farm workers out here. How is our homelessness looking? Our homelessness has got to be just atrocious. Oh, actually, it's not so bad. It's gone down. It's gone down by about 60. So everything is actually up right now. We need crime safety to be taken care of. Entertainment is still taking a hit. Religion is holding steady. Job quality is all right. I don't know. We've got a lot of things that are just sort of... Got a lot of things that are really just kind of in the range of mediocre. And it comes down to like whether I want to fix them or not. So output storage is full right there. Means we are more than likely going to need Teamsters down here. Which is okay. We'll give people jobs. That works out. It's like a pallet of bricks in the way. Yeah. Oh well. I'm pretty happy with our island so far. We're making a lot of money. We're making tons of money. How's our research going? Because I know I had these queued up for a really, really long time. Yeah, it's just going to turn all of our research into Grant's one free building. Future materials doesn't seem incredibly useful to me, but one free building. I guess we could go for like a mega awesome building that costs a lot of money. Can I upgrade this at all? Diplomatic flights and... Sure, we'll go first class terminal. We might as well upgrade everything that we can. We'll increase the efficiency of all of our geothermal buildings while we have the additional cash to do so. And I built two of them over here somewhere. There we go. And so with the effectiveness being increased by 50, we should see pretty decent gains in our amount of available power. Now, I don't think that we have the workers as of right now. See, I don't know why... I gotta figure out why my buildings don't educate people as fast as they should. I don't know if it's just because you don't have children or what's going on. Can I add an obstetrics wing over here? I guess not. All right, well, since I can't do that, I wish there was an electrify all so that all these people would be a little bit happier, but housing is not our problem right now. I'm going to try and find a new spot where we can put in a super awesome mega church. I do think that getting rid of these in here is probably a decent plan. And I already tried a mission down here, didn't I? And it was just slightly too large. So what can I fit in here? I don't think a grocery would hurt, so we'll try that. Oh, never mind. We've got a supermarket right there. Damn it. All right. Well, that's already got community aid. We can go... Okay, so we'll get the effectiveness of our entertainment better, and we'll do telemarketing so that we can make more money as well. I didn't even realize that was an upgrade. This down here is a giant throbbing mess. And so I think I should probably get rid of most of the buildings down here. So that's what I'm going to do. This is not going to make the militarists happy. But it will buy us a little bit of lovely space in the middle of town. And space is at a premium right now, so... You do what you gotta do. Much better, or at least a little bit better. It looks nicer. And so from that, I think we could conceivably go with a cathedral. I don't think I have one around here. I wish that it would fit that way. Unfortunately, not going to work that way. So if I go cathedral right there, actually, I could probably just do a cathedral. It's a tough call because this is not going to be totally beneficial to everybody. Maybe go for a smaller church on one side and then save the rest of the space for other things. So for example, okay, so we're okay right there. Maybe go with a... We still never built a dry dock. Probably should have done that. I don't know how I walked past that for the entire game. Must be placed on the shore. I'm assuming the facing goes that way. Because that part's out in the water.
There we go. And so now we are dry docked. Our dock is dry. Which is good, because nobody wants to deal with a wet... <laughs> God. Nobody wants to deal with a wet surgeon. There you go. There's the culmination of the joke. That's what we were moving towards, in case you had any doubt. That's where it was going. I will say that I built sort of poorly. I think we just need more housing, frankly. I mean... Our housing is just looking... Not dismal, but these people just built their houses in the shade of the clinic. Like, eh, we're poor. We're going to get sick and go there anyway, so we might as well be right next door. Be able to run out quick. My name is Splattercat. I'm going to break the episode off right here. I may focus a little bit more on militarism in the near future. Make sure that we have a military that can stave off anybody that tries to overthrow us or fight with us. But that being the case that we are out of time is 26 minutes. I will see you in the next episode. Take care of everybody, and I do.